Hey, I'm Dr. T and welcome to my office. So today I would like to talk about functional groups that look like they're more than one functional group, but they turn into one functional group. So the simplest one, the easiest one to explain is that of the acid. An acid functional group, or a carboxylic acid functional group, I should say, is going to be a carbonyl carbon that also has an OH attached. So it looks like a ketone and an alcohol got together. However, because of the resonance stabilization of the double bonded oxygen with the alcohol, uh, it is actually very easy for the H from what looks like an alcohol to detach uh, and become separated. Normally for an alcohol, the hydrogen is very difficult to remove and would require a strong base to do so. However, in the acid functional group, because you have the double bonded oxygen, the OH is capable of splitting off the H fairly readily, and this becomes a full-fledged uh, acid. Now, uh, the acid functional groups can get into a chemical reaction with other alcohols, uh, because of course we have enough oxygens floating around here, and these can form an ester functional group. An ester functional group is going to be a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and that same carbon is going to be bonded to another oxygen, so it looks like an ether hooked to a carbonyl, and then that oxygen that's in the middle is bonded to more carbons. Yay, we got lots of carbons here. Uh, the important part here is that this does add a little bit of interest in chemical reactivity, and these are fairly fragile functional groups. So under certain circumstances, these can be formed or broken apart, uh, specifically under acidic situations. Now, uh, when it comes to interesting functional groups that break apart, we can have the hemiacetal and the acetal. Uh, both of these you actually see quite often in carbohydrates. The hemiacetal looks like an ether, but one of the carbons that the ether is a part of, so you're going to have carbon, oxygen, carbon, and then that carbon is hooked to what looks like an alcohol group. So you're eventually going to have carbon, oxygen, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Now, that functional group gets rather interesting, as in the hemiacetal is capable of breaking apart, and what you will find is that instead of having the hemiacetal, it will form an alcohol and a carbonyl. Uh, we see this quite often with carbohydrates, uh, when they form their hexagonal or pentagonal rings, uh, that will usually involve forming a hemiacetal, but they can break apart, and go into a linear state. More about that once we go into biochemistry. Now, if you have a carbon, oxygen, carbon, oxygen, carbon, so it's two esters on the same carbon, that we call an acetal, and that does not break apart uh, as readily as a hemiacetal. And that's what you're going to see uh, for your connections between carbohydrates and polysaccharides. Uh, once again, more on that when we cover biochemistry. Okay, uh, so yeah, those are a couple of the key functional groups that look like multiple functional groups, but are really one functional group. Uh, there's actually quite a few more functional groups that I've not covered, uh, but that's kind of a highlight. So I'll see you in later videos, and have a wonderful day.